You literally are destroying the Olympics for anyone who's not a man. Well, that's a very grandiose vision of it. But not really. We not really. If you, look at the times, easily... if you look at the times and the results of men Olympians against women Olympians, you will see that in almost, I think, 98% of all the events, men are so far ahead of women on speed, on power, and everything else, every other discipline. Women and that's would, ne why, that's women why would we never separate it by women would never get Women would never win a medal again at the Olympics if you had your way. Is that what you well, want? That's very sexist. No, no, it's a physical. Hang on, it's not sexist. Do you it's know a, the first hang on, woman that hang on, James, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. It is not sexist, it is a fact. It's why we separate the sexes. Men and women are different. I really don't know how much we need to sing this song. Before more things like this can understand that. LBJ was a racist because he was an old white man. Are all white people racist? I would say, I would say that, that, that I think why you have an implicit bias. Do you understand how, how racist it is to think that all white people are racist? We don't experience... Racism is not about the color of your skin. Like, a black man can be racist, a white man can be racist, a Chinese can be racist. So she's saying all white people are racist really does not make sense. Because now I feel black people are more racist than whites, to be honest. I'm a little trans girl, small and cute. These are my pigtails, yes, they're real. When I get all steamed up, I can pout. That tip me over part sounds kind of inappropriate, though. So I'm gonna stop the song there and keep it kid friendly for all my young followers out there. Stay proud, stay beautiful, and stay kind. Bye. More things like this are not supposed to be on social media. Like, to be honest, like, kick him out, lock the dog, throw the key away, like, drop in the Pacific Ocean so, like, he can never access the internet again. Maybe it's, maybe this is just a phase. Hope it's a phase. And Quincy says it's not a phase. Okay. Will you think about it? Yes. Yeah. Three years later, I am standing in the surgeon's office because Quincy cannot wait until they're 25. They are now 22, and the binders that have been pressing their breasts down are not working, they're starting to hurt, and they're gonna get top surgery. And as we're going through the obligatory paperwork, it says, you know that this is elective surgery, right? And Quincy slams the pen down and says, no, it's not, mom, 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 mom. This is not elective surgery. Just shake these tits off of me. And in that moment, I could feel the imprisonment of my child in the body that I gave them. And I'm thinking, oh, great. And I'm cramming you into a little blue dress, and I'm saying she and her and she and her, and I'm the fucking warden of your prison. And I didn't know it. Quince, we cannot... We cannot argue with the insurance companies right now. If you want to get the surgery, honey, you've got to sign that paperwork. Check the box. So they do. This is heartbreaking. Like, this is heartbreaking. Because the way people think that you can actually remove yourself from a man and drop yourself in a woman's body does not make sense. See, there's no amount of surgery you do that, like, will perfect that. A perfect human being and if you feel nah I don't want this body deal with it bro deal with it life is hard like I feel it's rich people that actually have this kind of stress because imagine you're still looking for where to sleep how to pay your rent you're not going to be thinking about if you like the body you're in or not because this is actually heartbreaking for you to see mothers actually advocating for stuff like this it actually breaks my heart of course, we've got the original six colors of the rainbow, the black and brown stripes to represent people of color, the blue, pink, and white to represent trans folks, and a new addition to this flag, the yellow triangle with the purple circle to represent folks that are intersex. And the other new addition to our flag is the two feathers in the circle, which represent indigenous folks that identify as two-spirit. One feather represents feminine identity, one feather represents male identity, and the circle that holds them together represents the unification of both identities. I don't believe that these guys actually believe in this kind of things because it does not make sense like two spirit penguin and stuff like like this 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 is annoying to be honest like for you to think about it why are you doing this 
It is a tiny portion of people across the country that identify as trans, and not a single one of them is doing anything to harm you or your family. The I honestly believe that harming a lot of people for you to actually teach children things about this is actually you are harming them already, because this does not make sense. Like for you to bring sex and stuff like this into children that are not old enough to like understand who they are yet like it's harming them already to be honest standing here now a biological male wearing a dress with a pair of leggings do you sincerely believe that i should be subject to punitive justice on the basis of what i'm wearing i would encourage you to behave as a man is what i would do because you are a man and i don't know how exactly you came to the point where you think you're a woman or very much would like to be a woman but you aren't and i don't think anyone who is affirming your delusion is helping i think they're lying to you and i think it's very disrespectful and i think it will not lead to your flourishing i think it will only immiserate you you might hate me for telling you the truth but i think the truth will set you free furthermore your masquerading as a woman does infringe on the legitimate rights of other people the rights of women to have their own bathrooms the rights of women to have their own sports leagues. That is not something that you have a right to do, no matter how sincerely you believe the fantasy that you are a woman. Damn! Jamaica. What are your pronouns? What are my pronouns? Yeah. What do you mean by pronouns? <laughs> pronouns like he, her, him, she, them, that. I'm female as you can see. I think you're a female too. Okay. Uh, and are you married to a man or to a woman? Oh God almighty. A man of course. I know my gender. I'm also a female, by the way. No. Yeah. No. I'm a beautiful girl like you. <laughs> Take care. No one can tell me I'm not a beautiful woman like you. You have to drop this time. Let me see. I think like when I see people who are still true to themselves, like who understand how life is and don't want to fall under this delusional woke mindset stuff. As a man, I can take accountability and acknowledge that I'm imperfect. So, for example, if a chick said to me, like, hey, Marquette, you know, I really like guys with hair. For sure. <laughs> like, that is better than being bald. Whereas if you deal with a woman, you say, hey, rate each other. I'm like, oh, girl, you're a bad B. You're beautiful. You're all tens. Whereas men, we have to live in reality. We have to acknowledge the reality about ourselves and the reality about others and figure out where we stand on the hierarchy. Because I can tell you this. If you ask this young lady, is she intelligent? She'd look you dead in your eyes and say yes. If you ask her, does she have manners? She'd say yes. But she's been interrupting and she's been rude and unruly this whole time, which is why I have to address it. Because too often, guys will look at her and say, you know, she's attractive. I want to smash and because they want to smash they're about to start tap dancing and like being real nice and because they've never told her the truth she doesn't even know the truth guys who do anything just to smash and this is why i tell ladies like he can be a nice guy for like six months until he smashed then he's whew. hey i got some batman trivia for you what's commissioner gordon's first name jim jim i didn't think you'd ever heard of a jim <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most women are emotional, so I love the fact that she took this as a joke because that's what it clearly is. I want to talk to the kids. Parents watch the video and then hand the phone over to the young kids. Hi there. I dress only for myself. Going no contact will feel worse. Can't lie to you. <laughs> You are saving the relationship by destroying it. I thank you. If you have no family, you can be in my family. Hi, love. Here are three ways to disrespect your elders. Sometimes we're a boy, sometimes we're a girl, because um, human beings are creatures, and we're wild and exciting. I'm at the shopping mall, LOL. <laughs> if you need a new family. You're welcome here, in this family, on this page. Hi. You're safe. You're not in trouble. There are no girls' movies. There are no boys' sports. Happy Pride. <laughs> this slide disgusts me. I really don't know how these guys get phones and or who even watch their content because this is actually annoying. And the parents think that kids are on this kind of platform and you see kids watching this kind of thing and feel like maybe I can act like him. No, like I honestly believe that this kind of people should be kicked out. Like kick them out. This kind of people should be jailed, to be honest. Because you this are misinformation and you saying there are no boys and no girls, like it doesn't make sense. It's really based my heart that children will actually watch this and start telling their parents, I feel like I'm a boy, I feel like I'm a girl because of muffins like this.